Welcome everybody into this new video. In this tutorial, let's take a look how we can start using the Coinbase wallet. So, uh, first of all, guys, I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description so you can have your Coinbase wallet like right away. If you do want to create a Coinbase account, I mean, both applications works into the same platform, but uh, they are a little bit different. So speaking about the Coinbase, here into Coinbase, what you can do is to buy, you can sell uh, cryptocurrencies. And here, this is the way we can get started into Coinbase. Speaking about the Coinbase wallet, this is a place where what we can do into the Coinbase wallet. I'm going to hit into Coinbase wallet, actually. And you can, might want to see that the the tools are a little bit different. So speaking about the overview of the Coinbase wallet, what we can do in here is to store actually all the cryptos that you want. We can store NFTs and we can throw some DeFi in just one place. So these are a support of hundred thousands of tokens that are available in here. We can explore some dis decentralized webs on our phone all the browser that we're currently using and here this is like the very like easiest way to protect a little bit more our assets into the uh latest security of coinbase that's the reason why if you do have a coinbase account now if you have a coinbase wallet what you can do is to secure a little bit more your main coinbase account so what you want to do is to download the coinbase wallet whether you are using an ios device or android or in my case, I'm using an extension as the Chrome platform, as the Chrome browser. So what I want to do is to install the Coinbase wallet as an extension. So once I click into download for Chrome, I'm going to go into my extensions and here it's going to be appearing in my Coinbase wallet extension. So once I click in here, it's going to be popping up this new section where what I can do is to create a new wallet. So what I want to do is to hit into create new wallet. And here I do have a backup of my wallet. Save these 12 words to a passcode manager or write down and store into a secure place. Now into all the crypto wallets that you are uh, going to be creating into the future. For example, uh, it's MetaMask, it's the Coinbase wallet, it's the Phantom account. There are a lot of places, Terra Station, for example, they all provide you a, some words that you need to write down and store that if you want to import your money from one place into another one. So if I'm using like one device and I want to import an account that I already have, I need to provide this 12 words in order to continue. If I use another device, I need to do exactly the same thing. So it's really important to copy this to the clipboard. You might be seeing this blurred because I do have um, some specific <laughs> um, security stuff here. So once I hit into, I understand that if I lose my recovery phrase, I will lose all of my crypto in my wallet. So you might want to be aware of that. If I hit into continue for security reasons, they're going to be asking for um, in a specific. Sometimes there are just like a random code, but in my case, they need to ask me for my first and my last worth of my recovery phrase. So this is just to verify that you've already done the copy and saved in order to continue. And once you have successfully done that, it's going to be asking you for a passcode. Now you might be wondering, what do I need a passcode if I already have a secret recovery phrase? This is uh, if you want to sign in after you make a pot chase, after you, let's say that you power off your computer and you want to sign in once again when you signed in, every time you wanted to sign in uh, from different lapses of places, it's going to be asking for a passcode in order to continue. This is like, let's say, for a double security reasons. So the recovery phrase tool, it's for importing all your cryptocurrencies and stuff. And the passcode is just for signing in and signing out inside the same, um, inside the same application, inside the same device. So here I'd do want to get into submit. In my case, of course, this won't let me because I need a cactus and I need uh, one number in order to continue. So after that, I'm going to hit into continue really, really easy and get it to submit. And just like that, my account is going to be already created. So 
what I want to do is to claim a free username in order to start using my wallet. If you want to do this later, you can do this, but in my case, it's really easy to just claim a username. I'm going to hit into continue. And here you can tap for a specific username, let's say for example this one. And if it's not available, it's going to be appearing into red. So here I want to look for something else like for example white star. And after that you have to agree to the subdomain terms. I'm going to hit into submit. And just like that, my username is going to be created automatically and my wallet is ready. If you are using a browser like I am currently using that, I want to go into my extension. And just like that, here it is my uh, wallet already created. And what I can do here is to buy, I can swap, I can bridge from one um, extension into another one, I can have send and receive tokens. Here's going to appear in all my NFTs, all my DeFi, and here I can buy some cryptos. So uh, lastly guys, in order to just start working here into the Coinbase wallet, if you want to get started with some cryptos, I can go into add cryptos and I can choose the add crypto with Coinbase Pay. So here what's going to happen is going to be sending me into the Coinbase Pay section. So what I can do is to buy some tokens and what I can do is just to import that into my Coinbase wallet account. Now in here, uh, it's going to be asking for signing into your Coinbase account to authorize Coinbase wallet. So if you want to pay, if you want to buy some money inside your Coinbase wallet, you must have a Coinbase account. If you don't have that, you can choose create an account and then you just need to fill your first, your last name, your email, uh, of course, a passcode. You certify that you are 18 years old and create your account. If you wanted to, I can go into my extension. I can go into settings and here into settings, what I can do is to scroll a little bit down and here I do have the DAP connection. And here I do have the add and manage wallet. Here I do have this wallet. If you want to, you can connect your Coinbase. If you want to, you can connect your Coinbase wallet with your Coinbase account. You just need to make a, tr a transaction between one of those. And the process is really, really simple. I can just close this now and hit into my extension in order to continue to use that. And lastly, was once you do have some cryptos already uh, available here into your wallet, what I can do is to hit into swap if I want to transfer from one token, from one token into another one. So all the process are going to be added and done within the Coinbase Pay. So there you have it guys, this is the way we can get started here into your Coinbase wallet. Remember to check out your recovery phrase tool. You can always go into settings. Here you can always create a new wallet if you want to. Here into networks, you can change from one network into another one depending on the, on the token depending on the transactions of the token that you want to make. So hopefully guys, this was a very useful video for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you do want to see more tools about the Coinbase platform. Thank you so much for watching the video and I will see you guys on the next video. I'll see you soon.